Hey, what's going on guys? Alright, we're going to talk about RSI and how you could use it to stay in a trade longer and or keep you from hunting those reversals. For a lot of traders, when you use RSI, 30 is oversold, 70 is overbought, and then you are speculating reversals and how many times has this hurt you. So we're going to show you how to use RSI the right way and how to use it alongside a trend line, a dynamic trend line to help you be more profitable so here we are in the chart here we have just price action here we're looking at nq what i'm going to do before we add anything to the chart let's go ahead and expand the rsi now many of you are familiar with this rsi oversold overbought and this can get you into a world of hurt and let me explain we have a zone here in this zone right here we could see the general idea here is it's overbought so you go ahead and you attempt to short it here now if you have a very aggressive stop loss of course you're going to get stopped out by this wick and uh, there are many more examples this is another great example here where we are in fact entering oversold territory you go ahead and you short it and if you look closely you are still trending up before price action fades away what we're going to do here is uh, show you how to avoid it of course guys uh, look at this candle this is a very bullish candle expectation short but it doesn't really happen that way in fact we you see the gradual trend up whereas our size is telling you hey we're bearish so let's go ahead and fix this we're going to go ahead and expand our side there's a couple of things i want you to do and that is to make your midpoint far more prominent and we're going to go into our size settings go to style in your midpoint let's make this prominent let's make it a solid line and let's change this color to yellow okay so what you also have here guys is your moving average and this is probably a better way to use RSI. When the RSI breaks below its moving average, you know that price action is weakening. So we see a weakening of price action here. We see a weakening of price action here. We see a strengthening of price action here, weakening here, and then strengthening here. And all of this happens when RSI breaks its moving average. So what does this look like on the chart? Well, let's go ahead and bring our chart back and we could see right there, RSI breaking its moving average. We see price action become bullish, breaks uh, below its moving average. And this is what we would call something of a divergence, right? This is where most traders get uh, tricked out or faked out. You would want to wait for something more like this. But there's something else you could also add that will help you to objectively identify the trend and we do this with a dynamic trend line in ema let's go ahead and add our 13 ema let's go ahead and let's change this color all right we got a whole lot of yellow going on let's change this to something that really pops maybe like a red or something there you go okay now let's go ahead and expand this when you use this in conjunction with the rsi you get multiple confluences let's go ahead where price action breaks below the 13 exponential moving average, it is assumed to be bearish. Now let's see how this lines up with our RSI. So here we see the multiple confluences here where both price action breaking its moving average and RSI breaking its moving average gives you more of the story here of course we cannot qualify the price action to be bearish until we in fact see that rsi has broken below the 50 line and as you see here rsi maintains below this 50 line up to this point so let's go ahead and see what that looks like on the chart we broke above its moving average we broke above the 50 point let's go ahead and expand the chart once again here we could see an ever so subtle shift here with price now we are bullish here all right now it's it's very very subtle but of course you could also see where price action breaks above the 13 guys this is going to give you a more objective reference as to where price action is bullish and bearish and keep you from using the RSI as a reversal indicator, but more so as a trend confirming momentum indicator. Anyways, 
I hope you learned something. This is Gabe signing out. Peace.